We already have a platform camera set up. I'll duplicate it and call it Beat 'em Up. Align the Y position with the parent null object. Temporarily move the protection tag to another object and reset the Y position axis. Turn off the platform camera to avoid confusion. Position the null object roughly at the character's hip center. Rotate the null object to simulate the typical perspective used in this genre around 15 to 30 degrees. You can also experiment with perspective lenses. Now, let's duplicate this camera for a fighting game. In this case, a perspective lens might work well. You can adjust the lens aperture and camera position according to your preference, ensuring it covers the entire character. Keep in mind that your lights are attached to the camera, so you may need to readjust them to illuminate the character correctly. Slightly raise the camera angle about 5 degrees. This configuration is suitable for a fighting game. Lastly, let's set up cameras for top-down games. Duplicate the beat-em-up orthographic camera and rename it. Duplicate the rig, delete the camera, and keep only the null object, naming it East. Place the new null object within the hierarchy so the camera is inside the East null. Use global coordinates for the following transformations. Ensure your lights are in the desired position and the camera angle is set. I'll use a 45 degree camera angle, but generally recommend between 20 and 45 degrees. Once you're satisfied with the camera orientation, create seven new orientations. Duplicate the null holding the camera, adjust the rotation to five degree angles, hold shift for precise rotation, and rotate it by 45 degrees. Rename it to Southeast. Duplicate the last null and repeat the process. When you're done, select any camera and quickly render to preview. You'll see that all lights are working together. Remember to turn off and hide other cameras before rendering to avoid interference in the editor. Projects with various camera orientations highlight the importance of integrating lights with the camera. Lights should exist within the character's environment, and in top-down games, cameras remain fixed at a default angle. 
your light rig will provide uniform and realistic illumination relative to the environment. That completes the most common cameras for 2D games. Configure your cameras as needed for rendering your character animation sequences. In the next lesson, we'll package them into sprite sheets for import into your preferred game engine.